give you a guide on how to actually import a library. So if you're actually working in Penport and you want to use some icon sets or whatever resources that you actually found very useful, um, this is how you're going to do it. So uh, in the other project that we're working on, um, we encountered a place where we need to actually import some kind of icons. And if you don't know how to do that, if you don't know how to import that in Penport, so uh, just launch your Penport account and once you're actually in the place where your project is listed you can see i have this particular project that is running which is one of the uh, stuff that we're working on right and then if you want to um, add those icon sets all right this is what you need to do you will see you find some links here you can see libraries and templates so i'm going to go ahead and open that in a new tab all right so when you open that in a new tab you can look out for the icons that you want and particularly the icons that we wanted to use is this second icons all right so i'm going to search that in the new place all right so you can look out you can see this so you download these particular icons or even any other type of resources that you want to download that you want to use in your uh, penport stuff you can see you have pen plant this is actually some of them are actually um templates that you can actually reuse all right, but we're interested in this icon. So let's go ahead and click download. And once it's downloaded, you're going to go back to your project and then import that. So once that is downloaded, I'm not going to download that again because I already have that. So you come back to your, come back to this place and import. So when you click on import, and then you're going to import that particular file all right so once you import it you're going to make it a shared after you have actually imported you're going to make it a shared library so it can actually appear in the shared library that's just basically the simplest thing to do but to give you an example let me go ahead and just download one uh, probably it's going to tell me that i already have that but let me just download a different one now let's see i want to download this um, plant all right so if i download the plant I'm going to probably do it on the deck stuff so as it's downloading i'm going to go back i'm going to go back to my project import i'm going to go to desktop and import plant app the import all right open that up so it's going to take some few minutes to actually upload. Just give you a few minutes to upload and uh, yeah, so I'm going to click continue. So it will process will take a few minutes as well ready so once your upload is actually successful uh, sometimes depending on the kind of file you are trying to upload like this particular one took a whole long of time uh, you actually need to just wait a bit and allow it to upload once it's done you could click on accept but for those icons that were actually used they didn't take that kind of time because it's actually uh, smaller sizes so I'm gonna accept that and uh, once it's uploaded it's, it's gonna appear somewhere here all right so I need to click on this place and add as a shared library. So once you add it as a shared library for every project you're going to be working on and you need to use this, then you'll be able to. So I'm just going to click on it, add a shared library. So that's all. That's all we really need to do. So if you go to shared libraries now, you should see that the plant, the plant application is there.